Hello, Roadrunners. Hello, Roadrunners. Hello, Roadrunners, and welcome back to- Welcome back, Roadrunners. My name is Enrique Medina, and welcome back to this week's episode of Rio Talk. This is our first episode for fall of 2020. Obviously, 2020 has been a crazy year so far, but we have big news recently. First off, in the political spectrum, in the political world, Obviously, this past week, we had the first presidential debate. We had a crazy news that the president, Donald J. Trump, actually tested positive for coronavirus. So I wanted to get your guys' thoughts first on the first presidential debate between President Trump and uh, Democratic need Joe Biden. Let me get let let me know kind of what what were some of your takeaways from that debate. Obviously, I believe it was a perfect representation of where the country is right now. You know, we're divided, we're fighting, we're bickering among one another. You know, it shows you like how America is in today's society, and you know, it, you know the debate. It was kind of like. It was a lot of unnecessary. Oh, so many question marks we have right now, obviously, with things going on with the coronavirus around the country. Um, in regards to finding a cure, we also have the issue of um, the whole Black Lives Matter movement and uh, you know, racial equality and things of that nature. We have a lot of question marks that we truly bringing into, into fruition now that, you know, it's been tough to talk about uh, in the past or we haven't talked about it into the past but it's definitely come into the spotlight now and giving you guys information current news on the current presidential election to see who is going to be elected as the next president of the united states of course the big number the magic number we're looking for to see who will get elected as this next president is 270 electoral college votes the one issue though i know we talked about it john in a previous episode is the issue with mail-in voting. The U.S. decided to go this route with mail, uh, uh, mail, mail voting because, you know, it, it, with the pandemic- yeah, like I was like, just like saying, like, I mean, like if every state has different rules and we all have to do it a different way, like I just feel like it could just delay the whole process of, you know, the election and like, you know, the outcome of like what will happen. And it could potentially delay the result of the presidential election. In figuring out who's going to be the next president of the United States. And the way things have been going, already a few days later, that's still the issue. We're still counting. Well, so right now we're waiting on five states. We're waiting for Nevada, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, and Alaska. Donald Trump will have to win Nevada. And well, basically he will have to win every other state right now, which isn't really looking at like, it's not going his way at the moment. But, you know, at the moment, Biden looks like he's in control of the league right now. Hello, Roadrunners. It is Enrique Medina back again with an update from this previous episode. Currently, Saturday morning, November the 7th, 2020, Joe Biden has officially reached and surpassed the 270 electoral college votes and will officially be the next president of the United States. You know, congratulations again to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris making history as the first vice president to be a female. So congratulations to her. You know, she made she opened the doors to many women across the country. And to... one thing she mentioned during her speech is that how, of course, she is the first to do it, but she definitely won't be the last. We mentioned earlier about Kamala Harris becoming the first vice president. Uh, the first woman vice president, of course, which is an amazing accomplishment, very monumental moment in our nation's history. But in terms of sports, we had a very similar thing happen just today, Friday, November the 13th, 2020. Um, the Miami Marlins Major League Baseball team officially announced today that they'll be uh, signing Kim Ang for her to be the next general manager of the Miami Marlins, of course, the Miami Marlins organization um, doing this and officially, you know, being that franchise who puts forth the first female, first woman general manager ever to, to be a general manager in a North American team, of course. The new curfew and the new, uh, the new restrictions that are being put here 
throughout California, in the state of California, all non-essential activities will be stopping from 10 p.m. all the way to 5 p.m. Yeah, honestly, it feels like a, like basically a deja vu. You know, this is basically what we experienced back, in, uh, excuse me, back in March. And, you know, we, we all know how that worked out. And, you know, here we are, like, about eight months later. Uh, and, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go back to these strategies again. We have the holidays coming up. We have uh, Thanksgiving just coming up next week. And we have Christmas as well coming up not too, not too long afterwards. So uh, this time specifically, I'm not surprised that the restrictions are being this strict. I wouldn't even be surprised if they get even stricter. This new Los Angeles County stay at home order is limiting gatherings with people from other households. So you can't gather in any sort of situation or gathering with people from other households. So that is being prohibited for the next three weeks. An after effect of that, restaurants cannot, essentially restaurants cannot allow outdoor dining i think it's even harder on people that this is happening right before christmas the people yeah, are going to be able to provide for their families at the toughest time of the year the reality is right now the coronavirus cases have been rising especially now during the winter and because of that we've been happy to enforce this stay at home order and be more strict especially with yeah. these holidays coming up and that's just the sad the sad, heartbreaking reality. You know, this is obviously being done to stop the spread of the coronavirus and and really, you know, slow it down before, like, obviously we, we know a vaccine could be coming sometime very close in the future, but. But that's no excuse though. And I feel like people yeah, are taking advantage exactly. of that. Yeah, exactly. So we just need to be very disciplined as a society and make sure we do our part. You know? This is kind of risky, but I, I'm going to call it out. I'm, not, I'm I don't think there's going to be a game seven. I think it's going to be up to game six. <laughs> Doug, right. We commend you. We give you thanks for an absolutely unforgettable season. Thank you for all the memories that we'll remember and memories that will last a lifetime. So many of us to be able to share these moments with the people we love. Absolutely fantastic. So with that said, Roadrunners, thank you for joining, joining again for this episode. Um, hopefully all you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at El Paisano Media. This final episode of Fall 2020. Make sure to check this episode out on elpaisanoonline.com or on our YouTube channel for El Paisano Media. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram at El Paisano Media. And thank you guys for joining it throughout this semester. We thank you all from Real Talk and El Paisano Media. Thank you very much, guys. And that'll conclude this final episode of fall 2020 thank you guys <laughs>